Hello, YouTubers. Let me take my mask off so I can talk to you. Ah. Okay, what I've got here is a piece of beautiful Coca Cola wood. And I need a burnishing tool for my leather making. And I'm going to make it out of this. I saw someone else had made one out of coca bola, and I just love the look of coca bola wood. And it's such a smooth wood when it's done. I think it make it make a great uh, burnishing tool. I'm going to have kind of a rounded end on it, and then grooves for different thicknesses of leather. And then this end will come down to almost a point, kind of a rounded off point for pushing when you're trying to mold the uh, leather around a knife sheath, a knife in the sheath or a gun in a holster to mold the leather. So that's what I'm doing today. Let me get to turning and I'll give you a little peeks along the way as it's coming along. Uh, Coca Bola is an oily wood and some people develop uh, an allergic reaction to it. That's why the mask. Um, I haven't turned it in a long time. Probably been 10-15 years since I've done much turning. So uh, I'm going to have to take it slow and easy and pay attention to what I'm doing. So uh, let me get it, get it going here. Right there is the basic shape I was shooting for. Nice get in your hand. This end will be kind of rounded for pressing in and this in here will be rounded on the end for pushing down around uh, knives and guns in their sheath to form them. I'm probably going to take this down a little smaller on the end, give it a little more taper. I don't want it to be a point, I just want it to be maybe a quarter inch diameter on that end. I didn't want to take it too far down before I got it all turned going to get it sanded and finished and then I'll show you the end product. Okay there she is all sanded down ready for a finish. I'll tell you something about woods. Some kinds of woods you sand it down to about 120 or 220 and that's about as nice as this going to look. Coca Bola is one of those woods that you can sand it clear down to, I sanded this down to 400 then I took a clean piece of a bounty towel and just as it was turning wiped it all off with that bounty towel and it just takes a beautiful smooth shiny finish. Now I'm going to put a uh, coat of my French polish on it let that dry and then I'll buff it with my Cordoba wax on a buffing wheel and it will be done. Well there's the finished product you can hold it like this and work leather bigger area with this end run the leather in the different thickness slots here however you need to do it I think it came out very pretty and it'll be pretty handy I think still got a little bit of wax on it that'll come off though there she is thanks for watching